Okay, we are live. I'm just going to check some settings, make sure that everything sounds okay as well. Let me quickly open up the chat box. And then I'm also going to open up the participants box for those who are watching this live. I decided I'm going to be doing a fun, usually on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday for the next few weeks at least, I'm going to do an introduction to two series, my Cool Songs for Cool Kids series. We have my primer level book, book one. We have book two. We have book three. We have Cool Songs That Rock. You know, So we have a lot of books within that Cool Song series. Plus, we have three additional Cool Song books that I'm going to be releasing probably within the next week or two. And those are already available for those who have purchased my essential, well, my Cool Song series. It's it's actually, if you go to EssentialPianoLessons.com, you can learn more about that. But also those who have visited MusicMotivation.com slash Cool Songs, you can learn more about those cool songs. But I have about 153 or 163 additional cool songs that aren't in books. And those are cool songs that were part of my cool song series. They have accompaniment minus tracks and video lessons. So we're going to be talking about that. But we're also going to be talking about my best-selling Essential Piano Exercises series. We have 100 left-hand patterns every piano player should know. We have Essential New Age Piano Exercises every piano player should know. We have essential jazz piano exercises every piano player should know, and we have essential piano exercises every piano player should know. We're going to be adding several books to this series very soon, and so that will be fun. We'll be able to start adding additional essential piano exercise books for different styles from pop to rock and we're, we're going to have a lot of fun coming out with those but i just wanted to let everyone know about that let me quickly i'm going to do a quick check to make sure that the video is looking okay and also i have different video camera angles now we'll be going to my website and i'll be sharing my screen with my website we'll be doing some camera angles from the overhead to down low from the side just all over but i want to ch check and test some of these settings so let me just try we're going to test the setting from the side this is a camera i have over here <laughs> That camera looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go to the overhead view. I think that's okay looking. Let's see. Okay, that looks pretty good as well. So we'll come back to this front view over here. Now, what I'd like to do is really introduce, this is more of an introduction to my Cool Song series and my Essential Piano Exercise series. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Gerald Simon, and I am the founder of Music Motivation. It's a company that I created oh, back in 2004. So it's been a few years, but it's a company that I created initially. I started out teaching piano lessons, and I started doing my own performing at different venues from concerts. I was performing at weddings, you know, just all around. But my company is called Music Motivation. And in, in part, I wanted to start motivating and inspiring the next generation of musicians, from composers to music teachers. I wanted to start helping music students learn how to play the piano the fun way. I refer to it as piano fundamentals, emphasis on the word fun. So I began composing and creating music and coming out with music books. And my first book I came out with was a book called An Introduction to Scales and Modes. And this was back in 2006, 2007-ish. 
And so I came out with those books and, and that was fine. I came out with a book called Variations on Mary Had a Little Lamb and I had fun creating that. But then what happened is I went from teaching around 45, 50 piano students per week, and those were one-on-one -on -one piano lessons, to teaching almost 100 piano students every single week because piano teachers and parents who were buying my two books that I had purchased wanted to help me, have me help motivate their piano student. That was the whole premise. They they wanted me to start inspiring and motivating their piano student. The only problem was usually their piano student wanted to quit and hated the piano and wanted nothing more to do with the piano. So I began composing music during piano students' lessons. And all of these books from my Cool Songs series, Cool Songs for Cool Kids Primer book, Cool Songs for Cool Kids book one, Cool Songs for Cool Kids, book two, and then we have Cool Songs for Cool Kids, book three. We have Cool Songs That Rock. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have Cool Songs That Rock as well, book one and book two. And I started composing music during piano students' lessons. And I did that because I wanted to help inspire them. And then later on, I came out with my Essential Piano Exercises series. But today, I wanted to go through and start to show you and walk you through some of these cool songs that I've created for piano students. So I'm going to share my screen with you and I'm going to go to my Essential Piano Teachers website. It's EssentialPianoTeachers.com. This is for piano teachers where they can have the studio license. If you are not a piano teacher, and this video right now <clears throat> is for piano teachers. But if you are not a piano teacher, you can still learn more about these cool songs. If you go to musicmotivation.com slash cool songs, if you go to my website, essentialpianolessons.com, where I teach weekly group online piano lessons for piano students all over the world. And then if you go to my Essential Piano Exercises website, it's EssentialPianoExercises.com. That is where you can download the PDF set of my Essential Piano Exercise series. It's a single-use license on EssentialPianoTeachers.com. That's where piano teachers can have the studio license. But let me tell you more about this cool song series. I'm going to share my screen so you can see what I'm talking about as I go through this entire process. Now, let me just pull up my under zoom i'm going to share my screen now right now you should see right here that uh, i have my mouse highlighted this is essentialpianoteachers.com the website now as a disclaimer just open disclaimer i'm i'm actually not very good at sales because i tell people up front i don't have any hidden agendas the Essential Piano Teacher's Lifetime Studio License is $299.95 for everything. That includes 30-plus music books accompanying MP3 minus tracks, video lessons, and that's a lifetime studio license that piano teachers can have. But let me just go through, and I'll, I'll show you what this site is all about. Now, here we have some reviews from some experts. Tim Topham is a wonderful guy. So he's fantastic. He's doing so much to revolutionize the piano teaching industry. Jennifer Fox, Alicia. I mean, there are so many great. We've had hundreds and hundreds of piano teachers reviewing this. And we have several videos that we've included. We're going to include more videos. We don't want to just have video testimonials, although we could and we probably should. But first it says, what is included in the Essential Piano Teacher's Lifetime License? There are 30 PDF books included in the Essential Piano Teacher's Lifetime License. As a piano teacher, you will have a lifetime license to print out the music from these books for your entire studio. This offer cannot be shared with other piano teachers. It's just for you as a piano teacher. This includes the Essential Piano Exercise series by Gerald Simon that I've created. Each PDF book lifetime studio license sells on my Music Motivation website for $59.95. So right there, 
if you were to just have these books and you purchased these books as studio licenses, that, that would almost equal what the studio license is for everything that you're getting. But let me come down. We have more testimonials from piano teachers who are currently using these. But then it goes on and it says that the Lifetime Studio License also includes nine books from the Cool Song series. Cool Songs for Cool Kids, Primer Level, Book 1, Book 2, Book 3, Cool Songs at Rock, Book 1, Cool Songs at Rock, Book 2. And then these three up above, these are the three that up until now we've only had within the Cool Song series. I'm going to be publishing these within the next few weeks, and you can purchase the paperback of all of these books on Amazon, or you can purchase the PDF single-use license or studio license from my website, musicmotivation.com. But this Cool Songs beginner level, Cool Songs early intermediate level, and Cool Songs intermediate level, each of these books, we have additional Cool Songs. This one beginner level that is going to be called more cool songs beginner level it's from the apprentice stage i've broken down all of my i created what i refer to as the music mentorship map to help students and piano teachers navigate how they learn and how they teach piano lessons from beginner level clear up through advanced so i refer to the apprentice stage as beginning level the maestro stage as early intermediate level and the virtuoso stage as intermediate to late advanced levels so in the beginner level right here we have 17 cool songs that i composed and then we get into the early intermediate we have about 17 or 18 cool songs in there and then the intermediate level we have 50 cool songs that i've composed i believe in there and then each of these books below we have 21 cool songs in the primer level book, <clears throat> 21 cool songs in book one, 21 cool songs in book two. We have 10 cool songs in book three, just because each cool song is uh, most of these in primer book one and book two are only two pages long. Whereas in book three, the cool songs tend to be four to nine pages per cool song. And then cool songs that rock, we have seven. Once again, they're about seven to nine pages. This Lifetime Studio License also includes these other books. Peace and Serenity, Castles in the Sky, Wintertide, Sweet Melancholy, Triumphant, Sea Fever, Platinum, Hymns of Exaltation, I Want to Do What Jesus Taught, An Introduction to Scales and Moes, Ghosts and Goblins and Freaks and Ghouls, Jazzed About Fourth of July, Jazzed About Christmas, Jingle Those Bells, Sandcastles, Variations on Mary Had a Little Lamb, Music Motivation Goldbook. And so I've included a few of those cover images here. I'll put all of those books, the cover images there. And then we have testimonials from additional, uh, this is Jerem Hansen. He was a former piano student of mine. Now he's a professional musician, composer. And so a testimonial from him. And then it just goes through and kind of explains about some things. Here we have Becky. She's a, another piano teacher who's been using my, my materials. It goes through and it talks about each of these books. Now, 100 left-hand patterns is exactly what it says it is. We have 100 left-hand patterns that I've created to help piano students take a song and be able to play the song 100 different ways. Now, if you click on each of these from the sample pages, you can click on it and it will open up. So we have basic left-hand patterns. Okay, The left-hand patterns are divided up into categories or genres, if you think about it. We have on page 10, it starts with jazz, blues, and boogie-woogie left-hand patterns. Then we go to new age and contemporary left-hand patterns. And then we go to right here, I show some examples, simple examples of how you can take these left-hand patterns and start to play around with it. If I did Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, we could start to take Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and start to play around with that. Here, I started doing a minor version where I just did a little left-hand pattern like that. Okay, just a very simple pattern. Down at the bottom on page 30, we do like an upbeat 50s rock. Okay, 
just a simple pattern. And again, this is to teach students the, the book 100 left-hand patterns. It's divided into two sections. First, we have 100 left-hand patterns that are introduced. And then the second half of the book, we have 100 songs in fake book format, meaning you only have the right-hand melody with the chord written above each measure. And then what you do is you fake it. You take the left hands, left hand patterns that I've created and written down and presented, and then you fake it. And the whole point of the book is to be able to take 100 songs from the fake book section and play them 100 different ways in any key, any style, any genre. So that's kind of a fun, fun book. Essential piano exercises every piano player should know. And this book has 288 pages, and it goes over all of the exercises in every key. Now, when I first came out with this book, I actually came out with the book, and I only had it in the key of C major. We only had the exercises in the key of C, and then I had thousands of people contact me, primarily piano teachers from all over the world, thousands of piano teachers contacting me asking me if I would be willing to include every exercise in every key signature because they wanted to be able to play all of the exercises in every key signature. And so I did that. Initially, I had it in the key of C, and I said, now play this in every key. But after receiving over 1,000 emails from piano teachers and piano students all over the world begging me to please write out every exercise in every key signature, I succumbed and I, I did that. So here are some sample pages from the book where you can see we learn all the key signatures in every key. We have major pentascale exercises in every key. We have major scales, one octave, two octave. We have intervals in the key of C. This is all in the key of C, key of C triads. We do that with every key. We have most common chords in every key. We go through in the book and we do all of the chords in every key, in every inversion. Root position, first inversion, second inversion, a third inversion when you have a four-note chord. So a lot of resources. Essential Jazz Piano Exercises has 266 pages. And if I click on this, you'll see that we have a walking bass, left-hand pattern. Just a simple way to start teaching. Some fun jazz rhythms. Now here we're doing this. At the bottom of the page. So we have all of these jazz exercises intermixed with original jazz chord progressions, jazz scales. We have jazz compositions I've composed as well. Here, we're just doing a simple walking bass pattern with the left hand, where we're doing a broken sixth chord. The right hand is playing a dominant seventh chord. So we have C7s with the right hand, where the left hand plays a broken C6 chord. And then we go to an F7 with the right hand, it's inverted, but the left hand is playing a broken F6 chord. Then C7. F7, okay, so we're just kind of breaking apart these chords. So, and then I say try that in every key signature, and then you can see we start doing a simple walking bass left hand pattern while the right hand is playing a major blue scale. See, we're, we start on C, then we go to F. And, and it's just a fun way to help students start to learn how to do some patterns, some progressions. Here we have a 2-5-1 chord progression, 2-5-1. And we do that in every inversion. And then we do that in every key signature. And we just go through following, in this instance, we're actually going backwards. If you notice, we start in the key of C, then we go to the key of F, then we go to the key of G, 
B flat and then E flat, we're actually going backwards. Instead of following the circle of fifths, we're so following the cycle of fourths, going backwards. So those are just some, again, that has 266 pages. These are just a few short, simple pages, sample pages to explain more about it. Here we have essential new age piano exercises. It has 154 pages. If you click on this, you'll see that I have all these new age exercises I have composed and created to help teach students about new age music. So here, start coming down and that goes through every key but you can see these different left hand patterns that we do here's a composition I composed New World Expedition to teach a simple one five eight five left hand pattern See, now my left hand is doing this pattern while the right hand is playing C, G, C, B, C, A, G, G. sixth intervals with the right hand and we start to play six intervals moving up and moving down so you can go through and look at that we have new age contemporary left hand patterns that I've included and then we have I think about 20 or so original new age pieces that I have composed to help the students learn the practical application of this music theory This is Wintertide. You can actually go to my YouTube channel and watch Wintertide, uh, a video that I put on there, and it's the music video for Wintertide. But you can watch that. And, but now we get through more Cool Song series. Okay? Now, the more Cool Song series, remember we have primer level, book one, book two, book three, and then we have the more cool songs that go with those books. Well, here we have cool songs beginning level. We have 17 cool songs, and you can come down here and you can click on the sheet music to see an enlarged version of how it looks, and that will pop up and show you what it looks like. And then you can also click down below and you can listen to each of these pieces how it sounds with the accompaniment minus track now also do you see how these are all in blue if you click on these you'll be able to listen I... sorry kind of loud so you can click on each of these and you will hear the accompaniment minus track it will open up in a new page but you'll be able to hear what they all sound like if i were to click on this here and let's, well, that just started playing. Let's say that I want to go to Dolphins Play every day. Well, I'm going to click the play button, and then I'm going to click on the image so it will pop up. Listen to this. fun. So we have a component minus tracks that the students can actually play along with. Now, same thing here. If I go to the gamer. Hello and welcome.
game over. And yes, I'm saying game over at the end. So I record each of those individual sounds that you hear. It's me playing each of those, and I'm layering it over and over again. And sometimes I'm playing other instruments, you know, guitar or drums or different things. Sometimes I'm just doing it all on my keyboard, and I'm layering different instruments one after another. Here's Party. So you can go through and you can listen to all 17. I'm not going to play all 17 right now, but you can go through and do that on your own. Now, when we get to the more cool songs, early intermediate level, then we have 16 cool songs in the early intermediate level. And these all have a couple of minus tracks as well. Again, you can click on these blue titles and you can hear how each one sounds. Now, we're going to do the same thing. Let's do these four right here. I'm going to click on the play button below the image, and then I'll click on the image so that will zoom up. But listen to the A minor ace. Kind of fun. This next one is Sonic right here. As we let the A minor ace kind of fade off. So this one is Sonic. And I only show the first page of this one. So you'll just need to listen. That is Sonic. This next one is titled Good Times.
kind of fun. Different different styles, different genres. The next one is spook. fun scary sound effect there at the end and then the virtuoso stage we have 50 and you can again uh, now the nice thing is when you log into your account or when you have students log into their account you actually have access to the mp3 minus tracks at performance speed with piano at performance speed without piano and at practice speed without piano so you get all of the accompaniment minus tracks where the students can play at practice speed or performance speed which is really nice now down here we have all of these cool songs there are 50 and you can click on each individual one to hear how it sounds right here i'm going to just show you these four we have when sharks attack hybrid hero the labyrinth and boulevard so let me click on this and then i'll open up the page right here. So that's just a fun, you know, uh, some of these, I have an album called Ghosts and Goblins and Freaks and Ghouls, where it has some of these, including that one, When Sharks Attack. And you can listen to it on Spotify or different places, and that's kind of fun to, to do. This next one is called Hybrid Hero. <laughs>
of fun piece to play around with. The next one is the Labyrinth. Kind of a fun, dark sounding piece. And it's fun for the students to be able to play along with these accompaniment minus tracks. They can even perform for family and friends using these accompaniment minus tracks. I have students who have performed some of these cool songs for family and friends. I have some that are performed at concerts, at school talent shows. I have some that have performed. I had one student that performed my song Triumphant at the White House with the accompaniment minus tracks for Barack Obama. So you just never know, but let me play Boulevard, this one right here. Oh, hold on.
kind of fun. A lot of different styles. And again, here it goes through and it shows you, see, before we were doing the more cool songs. These are separate books. Now, I don't have all of these where you can click yet. I will still, I'll go through and make sure that these all have blue links where you can click and hear how they sound. But you have the Cool Songs for Cool Kids Primer book. See, this is all included in the studio license for piano teachers. And those who just purchase, if they go to musicmotivation.com slash cool songs, they can actually buy the single-use license for $49.95 for just the Cool Songs series. It doesn't include all of my books. But here we have H2O, Ready, Set, Go, where we have this little pattern. <laughs> So kind of a fun little piece. We have the unicorn that got away where we start playing this. So kind of a fun, fun piece. You know, you get into rhythmically impaired. rhythmically impaired and then we have revenge of the piranhas the right hand here can go up on the repeat if you want So kind of some fun, different examples. You know, we get into Cool Songs for Cool Kids, book one. And again, I will have all 21 of those where you can listen to those as well. But if you click on this, then we get into five for five. I'll just play the first line for you. continues on and keeps going we have game over and i'll just do the first line i actually went and did more than that on the previous one <laughs> and i went beyond that so you can see just fun different examples you know spy games Kind of some fun, fun pieces that students can start playing. Here we have Thunderstorm.
Linux page. And so kind of some fun. And again, I'm going to have all of these right here. I'll add a link where you can listen to what all of these sound like. Same thing here. When we get down to Cool Songs for Cool Kids, book two, where we have 21 more cool songs. Tick tock, click and clock, where we're descending. I wanted it to sound like a clock. <laughs> We're just kind of going down. And then the hand switch where the left hand starts doing that descending line. As we're, we're going down, we have wishful thinking right here. So kind of some fun, fun different pieces. We have smooth sailing right here. Okay, so the left hand has a fun kind of almost offbeat syncopation and it's fun to have the students try playing all these different pieces. And they're just fun, cool songs that I composed. This is Pogo Stick Punch-Out. That's not there, so you can't see that. I won't keep playing what you can't see. But there are, like I said, we have over 30 books that are included within this Piano Teacher Studio License, and they're just fun pieces, cool songs that I've composed. We have New Age, we have rock, we have jazz, we have pop, we have blues, we have all different styles. We have classical, contemporary classical. This is more of a classical New Age. It's Master of My Fate. on, you know, for another page or two. Here we have Pounding the Pavement. I kept going. Uh, I was clear on the other page, which you could not see. Let's do From the Heart, and this will just show you again, kind of a, a ballad, but it's just a very gentle.
and then that goes on for another page or so. So to fun different pieces, and they these books are all designed where they naturally they become more and more challenging as we go throughout the series. This one is titled Discord. for another page or two or maybe three. But you can kind of see we have a lot of fun different pieces for the students to play in this series. Cool songs that rock. Book one, we have, these are all rock sounding pieces. And then it drops down to the lowest A on the piano. starts going on that goes on for four or five pages and kind of some fun pieces here we have rock on on and on and I think it kept going on but you can see fun different pieces for the students to play around with here we have crowd surfing <laughs> go back to the F. And then we start jumping around and going all over it. It's a it's a fun piece to play. We have Revolution Rewind in the book as well. So I think you'd enjoy having these as examples. And, and here it goes through and just talks about the essential piano exercise. You can kind of watch uh, this. There It says, we are starting up an essential piano teacher's weekly group online piano lessons. It's $29.95 for the month, where we will have four one-hour long lessons every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time just for the members of the Essential Piano Teachers Weekly Mentorship Group. 
So that's something that you could do as well. But I just wanted to share briefly, and I know we've gone over maybe a little longer than we were thinking, these cool songs. Now, remember, we have Cool Songs for Cool Kids primer level, book one, book two, book three, Cool Songs That Rock. You know, all of these different books from the Cool Song series are included. And then we have the Essential Piano Exercise series. Now, these are all really thick, almost they're all over 200 pages. Oh, this one's almost 300 pages. But we have 100 left-hand patterns every piano player should know. We have essential new age piano exercises every piano player should know. We have essential jazz piano exercises every piano player should know. Essential piano exercises every piano player should know. And it's fun because I wanted to have something where the students would have the theory. They would know. They would have the knowledge. They could start to improvise and arrange and play around. But they could have fun, cool songs that they could play in many different styles, from jazz to blues, classical, contemporary, ballads, going through and playing all different genres in different key signatures. And that is what is so fun. So if you are a piano teacher, you can learn more about the Essential Piano Exercise series and the Cool Song series by going to EssentialPianoTeachers.com to learn more about how to start using this fun, cool music in your piano lessons with your piano students. If you are not a piano teacher, but you're a piano student, you want to learn more about this cool song series, you can go to musicmotivation.com slash cool songs, learn more about that, or you can go learn more about essentialpianolessons.com. If you go to essentialpianolessons.com, we actually, those who sign up for the weekly group online piano lessons, first they purchase the essential I mean, the Cool Song series, and then they have that where they can actually start using those cool songs with the accompaniment minus tracks and the video lessons in addition to our weekly group online piano lessons that we have. So that is EssentialPianoLessons.com where you can learn more about that. If you would like to learn more just about the Essential Piano Exercise series, you can go to EssentialPianoExercises.com to learn more about the Essential Piano Exercise series. But let me know if you have any questions. It is so fun to get to know so many of you from all over the world. In our Essential Piano Exercises course, those who have purchased the Essential Piano Exercise series, they can upgrade and they can add on the course. If you go to EssentialPianoExercises.com slash course, you can actually learn more about the course and it includes video lessons where we go through the entire book series and we're still doing that and then we have a lesson every month on the first friday of every month where we teach and we learn more about these essential piano exercises and music theory improvisation and composition those are the three main areas i like to focus on one i refer to as theory therapy one is innovative improvisation and one is creative composition it's those are the three areas that I have found are the most neglected areas in music teaching, music instruction. And they are the three areas that most people want to know more about. So again, you can go to EssentialPianoExercises.com. You can visit EssentialPianoLessons.com or EssentialPianoTeachers.com if you are a piano teacher and you would like to learn more about the Lifetime Studio Piano License for your studio. You can also go to my website, musicmotivation.com, to learn more about all of my books that you can purchase either as PDF downloads or you can have studio licenses, individual studio licenses. They're PDF studio licenses. The paperback books for all of these books are sold on Amazon.com. And then what I tell students is when you buy the paperback from Amazon, I usually tell them just go to a local print store it's only sold as a paperback we used to sell the spiral binding but then they had problems and complications where the coils would break when they were trying to ship them and so we decided just to sell the paperback to save so we wouldn't be destroying uh, i don't know if it was something happening with the shipping containers even though they were, they were bubble wrapped uh, something must have been happening so they decided just to do paperback so on amazon we only sell the paperback binding but you can take these to your local 
Staples or local Office Max or anywhere where they have a print shop company, and you can start to have them cut off the binding and then add the the spiral coil. And I think it's just a few dollars to do that, so it's it's not difficult at all. But let me know if you have any questions. I have many more videos on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Gerald Simon, J-E-R-A-L-D-S-I-M-O-N. I'd love to have you check that out. Let me know if you have any questions about anything, but I look forward to hearing your comments. And then I'd love to have you sign up for these courses, sign up for the weekly group online piano lessons that we teach for piano students and the weekly group online mentorship series that we teach for piano teachers. Again, EssentialPianoLessons.com or EssentialPianoTeachers.com. But let me know if you have any questions about anything. Thanks so much. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'm excited for you to start using these cool songs and essential piano exercises in your piano lessons. Thanks again. See you. Bye.